going to listen to a question somebody asked me in Sofia. So that's yeah. all right. Manage it. Eba beti asembi sebiya obi ebisa no ewo se shiyo so se no be boni biya afanesa. Amen. Amen. Then you will see the wound. I was wounded in the house of my friend. Ah, se utiye sa asembi se i ewo asemu biya obi mu upra me pra ewo asemba. So they have gone terrible. They have gone terrible. I don't know how to say. Some of the language they use in the internet, you can't use it. You no, cannot yeah. even use it over your enemy. It's unclean. Omo aye bonne papa papa wo nsema omo akikan fa ye ho nsem ni bi wo a omo twere gun tintem fide eso a enya asem pampo a metumu de mechachira ma aka impo wo tanfo mpo wo ntumi nka sa asem ne mfa ne ho nanso eno na omo kan fa ye ho. I felt you can listen to this one it's not too terrible. So you can bear it. Now, where the Mrs. Susa, where the Anonya, the Papenti, where the Obetumeti, maybe we heard the Anyesa Obetimpo. But then, as I said, it is the wound I got from the house of my friends. Now, be a monoso, because of a cancer, a year a prayer crew, a minya, a woman, and for four feet. Is it not for soul winning we are doing this thing? If I come to Ghana here to get money from you, so Then what is my pleasure? Is it not to have people go to heaven? So I came here to Ghana with two books that I want to release to save human beings. Meba Ghana ha ede enuma hudo mienu eba ye se meba abeche na mede abua ewo ejume yung. I was editing this book. Apart from moving up and down inside vehicle, we were busy editing this book. Inside flight, we were busy working to ensure I save somebody. Na ebra yeba mete eye wimushimu ka mu bebi biare de mumpo me da so eye enuma yung ejuma se ni ebe ya metu mi aji obinkwa. By the time some of you come in December, the wonderful books are released for you. Every Baba, I, 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 but some me, uh, open him and mumu mubi Baba no na and huma wangu asube brioho no ana yes yes yenevi. One is exhortation to patient, to faith and patience before God. E muba akun e ye inkranse a ubenya e wo chidi ane angombrase anase o train a ubenya we ready e mu. Have you believed God for something? Don't be discouraged if it delays. Wait for Him. Say, oh, chan e radia ni e wo bribi huwa e ma wabe mu mu se ma ya nya abotre e sane se se ni atibiano e radia de bedo mu. The vision is yet for an appointed time. Though it tarries, it wait for it, for it shall not tarry. It shall surely come. I say na e di ye no anase adai sono. And that's so hot. Now, as I said to him, my brother, be say a champion. Cause such things are rising as a body, a baby. When God made a promise to Abraham, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Abraham, when you come on, I say Abraham, bono. Abraham, what day? I'm going to say, and I say, I bought three eggs. Change your name. One second, sir, I bought your name. And I know by the time you pass through this door, you'll be laughing. Na minimise ube kinka nsa enuma na wie no ube sre. You will be rejoicing. Na when you betche and many things will be happening to you now. Your prayers will go to heaven. Na you are no doubting on your way. Bebre ebe si wa wabra boom na minimise when you die ebe fro akosro. The second one is making your father and mother glad by your life. Na ni atosu mienu ni se ube ma una eni weja eni achi wabra boom. This is for these children that are very stubborn. The devil is spoiling them, and we are preparing a book to deliver them. Na eyinimu eye mufras your dem foa ene wama awufo eko haoni amani mu ye siye siye sa hume ise ya de beji omo fisa subai nimu. This book will be bringing deliverances to your children. Now, salvation to your children, Amen. changing them, breaking the yokes of Satan Amen. in their lives. 
sa a woman at the Ojia Fanwudi and in Sakraipi Abe Bremoma as your dim for no Nedin Kwajian so Abreomo F is Subaimu. Is it not for you I'm doing these things? And Yamunti and Amea Iana. Then you are abusing. Writing to the internet. Abusing abusing him. Don't listen to him. I didn't see an affi monkey can and some money a fan who intends and feed you so baby. Oh, Mamuntiano, Mamuntiano can okay can some money be a fan. These are the wounds I secured from the house of my friends. What's you, happening to you, people? Are you ready? Okay, you know, a prayer crew, amen. Saka, yeah, a war, sir, as a part of a jumemo. Patient listening. God bless um, uh, Pastor Rekha and the wife. Thank you. And what actually is my border is when you go to the YouTube, you hear and see things that if you don't take on yourself to inquire yourself, mm. you draw conclusions, conclusions that are very, very dangerous. Uh, when the issue came between you and <laughs> Pastor Sambo, okay, he came to Ghana and gave his version. So I went home, prayed about it, and in a dream, me and him had a program somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I went first, and I was in the house waiting for him. When he came, he came with anger, parked his car, right, didn't even park well, shut the door, enter his room. So I was in my room, and I said, what happened? And the Spirit said, he's angry because of the issue between him and uh, you. And why should he be angry? I only sent him once. I have several revelations to give him. I just gave him one, and he angry like that because of book ah. so just don't mind god said five things but that one is for him i think so we're from interested there, to know the details yes <laughs> <laughs> i were interested say the five things mm. <laughs> no it's, it's we need it for the righteousness of god. um for i i i don't have them okay. detail don't worry mm -hmm. so then i concluded that he was at fault until um was it in accra or here accra i i decided not to come for the program because of some of the things i hear on the youtube and one the last one i heard was too smelly mm. that you went to a hotel with your wife mm. and your wife went to another room and slept with somebody ah. where it's here on his phone who is the person who said it somebody <laughs> and this is going round. so when i when he played it to me when the program was going on in accra I decided not to come back. I said, no. Let me go there and sit and listen to this man. Oh. I, want to, I want to have a personal touch and be convinced in myself that he is not correct. So when I came, if you can remember, I just came in the last day. I came with my back and sat okay. for some few minutes and I walked out again. So when I listened to you, my spirit gave me witness that you are a man of God. You can you cannot just backslide like that. So I decided that then I, I I will come to this one and have my my share of uh, anointing and blessing. Hallelujah. So you see that many things are going on on the YouTube. That people have been anointed by Satan to to 
come out with junk to defile the work you are doing and uh, when i was sitting i didn't want to talk but i said no i want to i want to ask some questions so that if somebody is listening mm. they should hear from the horse's own mouth mm. that that junk is not true please pass down yeah um i want to ask your wife a question mm. mama linda amen yes maybe um when you came to when you came to uh the faith uh, the faith of holiness it was not too long that you married pastor Rika. Yeah. but maybe um your strength to hold one man was not <laughs> was not too much for you so one day you decided that well let me go and release tension more and come behind my wife my husband have you ever in once slept with another man apart from your husband praise the lord actually the race we are going is very hard and I know since I gave my life to Jesus, this past this testimony has raised many problems on Sister Linda. I take it for a play when the devil told me before even coming to Nigeria to see that the Rika life. He said, if I don't drop this message, I will not have peace on this earth. He will raise people against me. I thought, because those days in churches, we don't know what is persecution. Mm. Christians, we don't know what is persecution. They taught us that Jesus has paid the price. I didn't know. We believe that disciples have suffered or whatever. I don't know what was suffering in persecution. I, do, I didn't know the doctrine of persecution. But when I gave my life to Jesus, I started seeing blank people will say things people will stand on the pulpit in other churches and say yes i know sister linda we were in the seat together i will be surprised where is it coming from why people decided to just scandalize blackmail me for what i'm doing just because i am revealing the plan of the devil I preach against adultery. And I, I told people the way I got my encounter, the way I came to Christ, is different from many of you sitting here. Maybe you say, I had Sister Linda testimony, I was afraid, or a pastor preached. My own was not like that. My own was practical, the Lord did to me. So if anybody is fearing sin, I should fear sin more because I have seen the end of sin. No, I adultery will take me to hell. I know that one. And how can I be the one again to go to that same hell? I was telling God, please, if you send me out. I will not do anything that will take me there. Then the Lord has blessed me. Before I got married to Daddy Rika, Lord gave me. when the Lord said that this man is going to be a husband, I was disbelieving because Daddy Rika is a father in age, in experience, in knowing the world, in his life. He has not lived this worldly life like us. So I was seeing myself, ah, oh God see where i'm coming from this man i stay with him for six or seven months as god says stay we were many months with late sister claire he has been a father and he's not this common pastor that you say oh 
have been with this man he was toasting us he was looking at us those that stay with daddy rika can be a witness and when the the vision came i was rejecting it because i say it's a, a satan because when i stay with this man i say it in my testimony many times that i was like why did god say this is my son i want to compare his attitude to other pastors we have been in churches we have mixed with pastors fathers all these things i've worked in churches the only thing i didn't do in my sinful life is sleeping with a man of god but i have friends that sleep with men of god and we party with men of god we sit together we talk so but i wanted to know what made god to call this man is my son so when i was staying in the house with other people as i was staying there in our hire bring one of our mothers that she's she's going to her 60s now a whole a, a mother that since sister linda god said she should stay here for training and the country i came from was hot the pastors they were looking for me so you will be with her take care of her like a daughter so the woman was staying we were all in the house i was observing that the rica for more than many months why is it his lifestyle is it like other pastor what is the reason why god say this one and me i'm a foreigner i'm you know in our country we fear nigerians a lot coming to nigeria my my people were like no they will go and kill you but jesus said i should go so as i stay in his house i'm standing before the church today whatever he say is going to be before god and whatever daddy rika you see daddy rika maybe two or three times in the day why if we come out in the morning for devotion prayer if finish he enter inside the room even me staying there with other people if i say daddy i want to see you he will make sure another person should come with me so that we can sit in the parlor to discuss it was no i've never seen with short sneaker i've never seen daddy rika with short sneaker come out as in his house like pastor will say i'm in my house but girls are there boys are there youths we are in his house he was not married so the boys are washing his thing we are just in his house i've never one day had that they can say come and let's sit down and just as daughter and father one day so when we got married i asked him there sometimes i used to say daddy i want to ask a question why will you have to be bringing other person he now told me we never know god is going to say tomorrow we are husband and wife if we have been close like that okay sit down tell me and people used to come to the house as pastor visiting her if two three people have come one time and met me are you sitting like that now they come to hear god say they will never believe they'll say ah we used to see them now two of them they are talking uh, after they finish like what is happening now my brother i want to tell you there are people that they are very angry with sister linda for one thing even in ghana those that have left the movement it's only one thing they are angry with sister linda because god gave me vision about their lives brother sambo i've not been talking because i'm not good in that i leave everything for judgment today but their hatred and anger they have for sister linda is how will she expose us because all of them that are saying like this i used to tell people please ask them what is the sin that sister linda did to you maybe you say okay she she was a angry type she insulted me she did this to me the only thing they will tell you is she is giving a false revelation and the false revelation is about their life but if when sister linda was talking about other pastor they were the same one where i say mommy linda is in the truth now god is coming to his house which is holy more before we were out god will tell me about different churches different pastor and this coordinator these brothers in the movement they were like ah mommy it's true this is what is happening now jesus now turned the camera that i'm going to clean my house which is sorry and begin to fetch out the pastors the coordinators the workers that they are not born again most of them talking like this they have come out because mommy linda say my life is like this and the most interesting thing is before they left they will call them this is what god have said about mommy he has other questions to ask so just okay. cut it now so that he can ask more questions. okay 
You are okay? You are okay. Okay. So, it's because of no, revelation. So they didn't say anything about me too. Many things. <laughs> <laughs> so, to your question, nothing like that have happened. They have tried to bring us down by one, they say Sister Linda name is a snake. They publicize it, publicize it, it did not work. Because God is with us, God is still telling people to that I told Jesus, God, go ahead of us. Reveal us to people. Even I said it here that please people should pray. Okay, I said it Aflao. Pray about who is Sister Linda Pastorica Horimo. In Accra, Ghana, I I didn't know the sisters. But if you hear the testimony, they have met me in their vision. God told them, listen to them. So I see that God himself is working because God knows Satan has aspired gather people to black all is don't hear the word because my brother is bigger than what we are talking because now it's darkness and light fighting satan knew that he have captured the world he have deceived the church what we are saying here you and i know what you are hearing some people say sister linda this is your message i've been a christian for that something i never knew it was like this because satan have carried people far so when this movement comes and begin to expose the things that Satan have deceived, many churches today, pastors are repenting of their doctrine. Oh, we never knew it was like this. Oh, now we know the, the doctrine. Sisters, husbands, everybody, see people are asking questions here. Some are inside wrong marriage. They never know. And they have been a Christian for long. But it's when they come across her remote, they came to know that me and my husband were believing. So this is how we are going to help. Brother, husband, please, we need to make our way. Satan don't like this movement he hated sister linda for exposing what takes women to hell queen of the coast appeared to people black. sometimes some people say they will get dreams to blackmail sister linda. all is because of what she's saying don't believe her satan said tell your husband i have brought down many pastors that get that we are hot preaching holiness where are they today he make mention of some names cattle uh, 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 redeem before when redeem started it was like this women were holy burning while i finished them he even went to deeper life he said what is the deeper life are in their former glory but they are now finished it. your husband will want to revive what i've killed what i've removed in the face of the earth tell him it's more for me i will i will cause his own people to persecute him we thought this was a place that was 2014 revelation 2015 we heard, we got that revelation the threat of satan it had not even been far sambo came out other coordinators past brothers and they are the ones satan is using them now to be talking evil see what i've never had this this one is to the extreme they have done all oh, i have, think this one just came up is that this one okay just came out you can see now, they yeah. have done they have done they don't know what to say again that will make people to disguise us but as they are saying what god is doing is god confirming it to people is people themselves now like what you say you had a dream is god that visit not you call sister linda or daddy Dika to say okay when i call daddy Dika, i say well then i i believe him god make you to have vision the vision that god is revealing now about sister linda and daddy Rika is because god knows satan have carried people far i didn't know you but i never know you have had evil about me but because god wants to save you which me i didn't know me my own is go and testify i believe as i testify yesterday there are some that have believed and it's good for them i'm going now to nigeria i'm doing my work all i know they cannot kill me but whatever they are saying there i say god now see this is a new one i've never had it a big lie that i leave my husband in a hotel to go to another man for what what is it is it time to be thinking about sex we our time we are thinking of preaching the gospel do we even have time for that so you can see their level of wickedness all is these people are evil but god has put a word in our mother when people hear those that have ears they will hear and discern i thank god for the spirit of discernment in you because this is how they will have carried you but you're able to discern and pray and say hmm can a person do like this? I want to tell the church here, we are not hypocritical Christian. What we preach, we practice it. What this man preach, he practice it. I said people to everybody, I give you my testimony. When I got married, the only sin in my life I have been crying is anger. Because it's like he roamed in our family. And I testify about it that how daddy put me in exercise. 
that if you don't get this anger out of your life, you will go to hell. What is the anger? When I started hearing what people are saying about me, a pastor that is going for the first time to our country that even daddy paid for him to go, which they call Kempo, was lying that they call him to go and settle things and the queen of the coast, my mother, appear and want to kill him in the sea. Made up story. But when he was in my country, he was telling them a different thing that Jesus came to him and said, go and fight for my daughter. They want to kill her here. But when he came, he never knows somebody call us that Lord choosing people gave him money and said, please make a message that will black men leave Sister Linda. And he told his secretary, the secretary was a member of Orimo, and said, see these choosing people. They say I should come and black me Sister Linda and they, they think I'm cheap. The man has said, sir, don't do it. You know God is with Sister Linda. What he's saying about it. even you say you have gotten a vision that Mocha is not serving God. He say yes. But he went behind and collected the money. And then later he make a video and say, eh, I was with them. When I was with Orimo, God showed me that Sister Linda is from the Marine. That's why I've left them. He scattered almost major of our members they went because he was like a, like now god forbid pastor ben will come and say you people know me i was a member of forever i'm a coordinator but when i was with them i noticed sister linda was a witch that's why i left some of you will believe and go and say ah oh, this man so but what god is doing as they are saying this is how we are more increasing more than them more popular more than them not for our glory but for the name of god so Thanks. most of them that are talking like this, you don't even hear them. They are forcing to get voice. I'm even pity Brother Sambo because Brother Sambo said a, a message 2013 in a crusade and said, that is where I'm ending, Daddy. And said, that's why I said, they should ask him which Jesus is speaking to him now because what he's saying is too tough. He said in 2013 that Jesus told him that the only people he has sent with true revelation is Sister Linda and him, Brother Sambo. And even late Sister Claire was angry for that statement. I was not there, I was in Sierra Leone. Sister Claire called me and said, if Brother Sambo is saying like this, me, I know God called me. I settled the matter with her. I told her that, well, everybody get the way they hear. You don't need to be angry. Brother Sambo knows, unless you just want to say, is envious of me because he has been telling people, I came and blot him out because I am popular more than him. Are we doing comp competition here? It's because of his anger and whatever thing. He's spoiling his revelation. He's the one spoiling it. I'm not the one. He got his revelation 10 years before me. So I'm not in part of spoiling his revelation. And I've never spoken a word. It's only today I'm talking about Asambo. It's too much, but the Lord will be glorified. The mechanic said, "No one can deny a true. The only thing about Brahma say, no one say me name that the Juma. Then so only I go pon kaya mu awadi ye. In today mu beti bi a mu tungu. Na mu anka sa mu mu pa in si bise rende. No be yi a mu adi ni a kaya mu sam adi a true mu. Amen. Amen. Then Daddy, God bless you for your endurance. Mama, God bless you. And we are behind you as the Holy Spirit is behind you." We are actually missionaries, me and my brother, we've been going to the north. We use video, we show Mama Linda's video. Okay. That is what we show and your teachings. We show it, okay. after that we preach to them. Okay. So we also beg you and then um, Pastor Ben, that anytime you come again, you will make provision in the north. Okay. Bolgatanga and Boko. So amen, that we amen, can go amen. there too. We need you. Our people there know you on video, oh, but they don't yeah, know you in person. Yeah, yeah. So we want you to be there for us. Thank God you. bless you. Amen. Mama be strong. Mama be strong. Bacho. All the way to Calvary he went. For me, Jesus went. For me, Redeemer went. For me, all the way to Calvary he went. For me, he died to set me free. Now I'm free indeed. All the way to Calvary, he went for me. My Jesus. All the way to Calvary, he went for me. Now you are free My Jesus 
Redeemer. Oh, yeah, all the way to Calvary. For me, he died to set me free. All the way to Calvary, he went. For me, my Jesus, Redeemer. Well. All the way to Calvary, he went. He died to set me free. Now I am free indeed. My Jesus, Redeemer, well. Secured in soul winning. The black rua over to me and I will As you go winning souls, be ready that you can be fought. A black rua will call a country a crying as a seven year crowd will say, When will be the account? You can be wounded. Now, over to me, a prayer woman. The message you have just listened to is a production of holiness revival movement worldwide holiness revival movement worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades revival meetings production and spread of holiness literature and materials for other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe.